Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Today, we have an exciting topic to delve into. The European Space Agency's Euclid mission is set to take off on July 1 est, or possibly soon after, aboard a Falcon 9 rocket from SpaceX. Many of us, including myself, will be in Florida, eagerly anticipating this nail-biting event. Hmm. The Euclid mission is no ordinary space venture. It has a specific purpose, to unravel the mysteries of the dark universe. With its sights set on both dark matter and dark energy, Euclid aims to shed light on these enigmatic entities that are believed to account for a staggering 95% of the universe's energy density. But that's not all. Euclid will also test alternative models of gravity, potentially challenging the great Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. CGMENT1, Exploring Dark Matter Dark matter has interested scientists for nearly a century. Its existence was suggested when astronomers noticed that galaxies and clusters displayed unusually high speeds. To keep the clusters from disintegrating, there had to be extra mass holding them together. This unknown matter, which doesn't emit visible light, was aptly named dark matter. One fascinating tool for studying dark matter is gravitational lensing, which draws on our understanding of general relativity. As light travels from faraway galaxies to us, it gets bent by massive clumps of matter, be it dark or bright, in the foreground. This bending effect changes the look and location of the galaxies, particularly near the cores of massive clusters, where they appear as elongated, curved arcs. With Euclid's exceptional resolution, similar to that of the Hubble Space Telescope, we will receive a hundredfold increase in images of galaxy clusters. This will allow us to study the distribution of dark matter within these clusters with unprecedented precision. By scrutinizing how dark matter is distributed, we hope to find valuable clues about its origin, mass, and possibly rule out certain candidate particles and alternative gravity theories. SEGMEN T2 Unraveling Dark Energy and Gravity Hmm. While dark matter brings its own challenges, dark energy adds a whole new layer of complexity. Dark energy was proposed to explain the surprising finding that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, contradicting Einstein's theory of gravity. The simplest answer is that dark energy is the energy of empty space, also known as vacuum energy. However, this explanation raises uncomfortable questions as the measured density of dark energy is significantly lower than predicted by quantum theory. This discrepancy forces us to consider alternative options. Could it be that gravity behaves differently on cosmic scales? Are there extra dimensions beyond the four we experience? Or does Einstein's theory hold true in weak gravity fields, but breaks down near the event horizons of black holes? To handle these mind-bending questions, Euclid will map the positions of millions of galaxies across vast cosmic regions. By tracing the cosmic web, the intricate structure of filaments and voids in space, we can study the laws of gravity at work on cosmological scales. By scrutinizing its properties, we can decide whether alternative gravity models provide a better fit to the data than Einstein's theory. SEGM ENT3, The Impact of Euclid As we eagerly anticipate the launch of Euclid into the Florida sky, the astrophysics community is buzzing with joy. This project marks the first dedicated satellite for mapping dark matter and dark energy. The data collected by Euclid will survive for a lifetime, offering countless opportunities for future generations of cosmologists to unlock the secrets of our universe. That concludes our journey into the mysteries of the dark universe with the Euclid mission. Stay tuned for more thrilling space explorations and scientific breakthroughs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to join us on this captivating cosmic adventure. Until next time, keep looking up.